present perfect versus the simple past. You can find more information on the ideas that I discuss in this video in your textbook. Read chart 4-4 on page 90 and chart 4-5 on page 94. First, let's review the present perfect. It has two meanings. The first meaning we have already discussed. It can refer to an event that began in the past and still happens now in the present. In that case, you need to use since or for. For instance, I have worn glasses since I was nine years old. I still wear glasses now. The present perfect can also refer to an event that happened at a non-specific time in the past. That means we don't know exactly when it happened. In that case, you will probably use words like already, or yet, many times, before. These are just examples of some of the adverbs that you might use in a sentence with the present perfect. For instance, I have already seen that movie. We don't know when I saw the movie. If I told you when, for instance, yesterday, then we would use the simple past. But since we don't know, we use the present perfect. Let's talk about adverbs with the present perfect. Here are some common adverbs that we use with the present perfect. First of all, just and recently. Of course, just and recently refer to things that happened very soon. You just finished this, meaning maybe only a few minutes ago. This is not a long time ago. This is in the very near past. I have just finished that book. It was really good. My mother has recently been to New York. Perhaps she went to New York last week. If she went to New York last year, that's not so recent, so I wouldn't use that adverb. For both of these adverbs, notice that it comes in between the verb. I have just finished. My mother has recently been. You cannot put the adverb anywhere else in the sentence. We also use adverbs to talk about how many times we've done something. Adverbs like many times, once, twice, three times. So we would say, the teacher has explained the lesson many times. Now notice that this is different. Many times goes at the end of the sentence. It does not go in between the verbs. Next we have already. We can say, we have already been to the store where already goes in between the verbs, or we can say, we have been to the store already, where already is at the end of the sentence. Both are correct. Finally, we have yet. Now yet is an interesting adverb, because we can only use the word yet in questions and in negative sentences. Let me repeat that. You can only use the word yet in questions and negative sentences. It has the same meaning as already, but we use already in positive sentences, like we have already been to the store. But if we wanted to make that a negative sentence, we would use yet. We haven't been to the store yet. Yet also always comes at the end of the sentence. Look at the examples. Have you eaten lunch yet? If the answer was yes, you would use already. Yes, I have already eaten lunch. Or, yes, I have eaten lunch already. But if the answer is no, then you use yet. No, I haven't eaten lunch yet. And once again, it comes at the end of the sentence. Now, the present perfect versus the simple past. What's the difference? The simple past refers to events 
that happened at a very specific time in the past. We know when the event happened. For instance, he went to bed three hours ago. When did he go to bed? Three hours ago. We can answer that question. On the other hand, the present perfect refers to events that occurred at a time in the past, but we don't know when that time is. For instance, he has already gone to bed. When did he go to bed? We don't know. Perhaps three hours ago? Perhaps three minutes ago? We don't know. Now it's your turn. Read the sentences and fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Let's look at the answers. For the first one, my sister lived in New York for two years, but she doesn't live there anymore. Notice that you see here the expression for two years. That does indicate a length of time, and a lot of times with since and for, we use present perfect. But that's only when the action began in the past and is still happening now. My sister doesn't live in New York anymore, so we use the simple past. We also have a specific time for two years, so we use the simple past and not the present perfect because we know when it happened. For the question, we ask, have you read his new book yet? It's so exciting. Notice that yet comes at the end of the question. And the answer, no, I haven't read the book yet. Once again, yet comes at the end of the sentence. For practice, turn to page 92 in your book and do exercise 18, and then page 95 and do exercise 24.